Hi, Rust lovers. So, what are we doing here? Ah, the two by one. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it. There's a million YouTube videos about it. And why not? It's got an airlock. And it's a great starter base. It's cheap, it's cheerful, it's low upkeep. And obviously you can put a shelf in here, get extra storage. And it does its job, it's fine. There's no complaints, used it a million times myself. But, supposing there's a better way. And the last couple of wipes, I have started with something slightly different. Which is this. And this is it. It is also a two by one. Exactly the same upkeep, exactly the same uh, build costs. Um, allowing the other one, if you will, the triangle airlock at the beginning, assume it's got three furnaces in the foundation because I find that's a, a good space saver because I've done it here as well. But that's not the reason. So this is still a two by one. You've got one triangle, but it's in the center parting the two squares. So you've got your three furnaces, that's fine. You open these up. The main benefit of this is that you've got an extra wall you can put stuff against. If you do the classic two by one, this effectively will be your doorway in. So you lose, apart from a sleeping bag in front of it, which here you can put a sleeping bag there. Um, that's it, you can't put anything else in front of it. But in this design, you can actually utilize every single wall. So you've got uh, more space, effectively. Um, and I like a bit of space. I mean, obviously this room you can pack out, you can put your shelf in here. Um, so you can, uh, you know, double up on your chest and what have you. You could do the same this side as well. I'm really cramming two loot rooms. I like a bit of mobility, so I can use it for a solo, duo, or even trio, as long as you don't uh, get under each other's feet too much. But with this extra space here, um, I, I just find it better. You, you know, there's more room. You can put an extra box down here. Again, you know, I know I haven't got salvage shelves here and extra boxes. Feel free to do whatever you want. But that extra wall, I find really useful. And for those of you saying, oh yeah, but you've got no airlock. You have. You've still got this here and this is your airlock between two, the two rooms. Now, the other negative I can hear some of you potentially saying is, oh, but there's only one, two doors before you get to your TC. Whereas on the classic, two by one you'd have a door here then obviously you've got your your uh, your other square foundation here and then your triangle so that's three doors yes that is true but they don't know which side to go here so there are still effectively three doors to get into the whole lot like you would have on your conventional two by one but the other thing is you can um resolve that very easily just by putting another triangle on the front uh, and this actually lends itself to an easy expansion which I may go into another video because if you put another triangle here um, you can then put two more squares on square foundations and then you pick this out garage door it and it's quite an open nice base and that's quite important for me may not be for other people you can still honeycomb this the same way you normally would a two by one but the big thing is, it costs the same as a two by one, but you're getting an extra wall uh, to put things against. Um, and why not, you know? You can feel, you can feel it just feels a bit more roomy. I mean, look at the space here. Because when you, you can also, also utilize this triangle as floor space, it just makes it feel more open. Whereas with a normal two by one, this is literally airlock and that's all it's good for. Um, so yeah. That's an alternative I've uh, felt has been beneficial to me personally for a couple of wipes. Um, feel free to have a go and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much and I'll see you in the next one. Missed.